So I bought Miniware TS21 soldering iron. It came with one soldering K-type tip, few shrouds, different colors for better gripping. They are like shearing tubes. And it came with a very nice quality, very flexible USB-C to USB-C cable. Additionally, I bought power supply and a few soldering tips. All in all, it cost me more than 70 euros. So when you power it on, you have a few options. You have A button and B button. So if you press B button, you can go to settings. And in setting menu, B button goes down, A button goes up. Press and hold A button to change settings. Now, I'm not gonna talk about all different settings and, and so on. They're quite, quite easy to understand. Uh, body of this soldering iron made from aluminum and it's round. So very comfortable to use and uh, I feel it would actually survive the drop. Not that I recommend it to not care about it, but yeah, feel solid con construction wise. Now, most important uh, settings here are in options to to set uh, three set points, and when you using actually using soldering iron, short press A button to toggle to through different temperature set points. Now, awesome thing that it has uh, this light i never seen that on different soldering irons so you can select it to be automatic when the heat is on it will light up or disable it or make it always on now to heat up you press and hold uh, if you press and hold a button you see revision number temperature voltage but if you short press a button, it will it will it will turn on heat, and then you can with a button to toggle to to different uh, temperature settings. And if you press and hold a button, it will go to boost mode. So boost mode is uh, right now set to four hundred degrees. And so this is all awesome feature to have and turn off heat press and hold B button so it seems complicated but actually when you use it it's it's quite easy to operate now this uh, flashlight it's not a gimmick it's actually very very use useful thing to have now you, if you use a microscope with, with lighting, yeah, you don't need it, but still, I see it's, uh, it's used in some remote locations, so nice f feature. Now this board is damaged, so I'm just training <laughs> to solder and desolder some components, and let's say I need to replace this capacitor so I put flux and uh, it's right now set to 300 degrees and I'm having a hard time to desolder this capacitor and then I press and hold a button so it goes to boost mode and instantly this cap capacitor goes away from the board So yeah, don't look at my <laughs> soldering skills, I'm, I'm just messing around here. So overall, yeah, it's quite expensive. All in all, you know, with 70 euros you can buy a de half decent soldering station. 
but basic unit just soldering uh, iron and the tip cost around uh, 37 euros so in dollars that would be 40 dollars maybe but yeah construction wise uh, quality wise uh, and functionality wise very good thing to have totally recommended <laughs>